Anyone who has played a Story of Seasons game before knows the plot of Pioneers of Olive Town. An enterprising young 20-something escapes the bustle of city life and takes over their grandfather's old, dilapidated farm outside of a small, rural village that's struggling to keep its inhabitants entertained. You grow crops, raise animals, talk to the townsfolk, repeat. Pioneers of Olive Town isn't trying to change that traditional gameplay, but it adds a huge amount of land to manage and crafting mechanics to work with, and that fleshes out this familiar loop into a full, comforting take on farming sims. As with prior games in the series, Pioneers of Olive Town starts you with a small, overgrown bit of land that you will slowly clear of trees, rocks, and grass, with tools like an axe, a hammer, and a scythe. You'll also repair dilapidated structures, like a chicken coop, using the materials you get from clearing the land. Early on, the stretch of farm you start with seems like plenty to be getting on with, and certainly enough space to farm in. Then, you'll repair the bridge, and holy cow does it get bigger. Crossing the bridge reveals a plot of land twice as big, equally overgrown, and with new, rundown structures of its own to repair. And there are even more sections of land beyond that. That means plenty of space to build and grow whatever you want, including crafting ridiculous decorations like this big green guy. <sighs> On any given day in Olive Town, your schedule will be packed full. You might be working toward rebuilding a structure, planning another excursion into one of multiple mines, trying to finish a quest to develop the town, and trying to get that cute girl who works at the museum to take a walk on the beach with you. While the seasons pass rather slowly, it's often surprising how much you can pack into each day and how much is waiting for you the next day. The downside of having so much land is that Story of Seasons is obviously struggling to run at a steady frame rate, especially when you're running across an area with a lot of things on screen. And its largeness can also result in time-consuming struggles to keep the land clear of junk and these stupid puddles that show up every time it rains. They have to be tediously drained with a bucket if you want your space back. But the ample space mostly works in your farm's favor, because you'll need lots of acreage for growing crops and animal grazing, as well as for about a hundred or so crafting machines that will convert raw materials you find around the farm into other materials you need to progress, such as wood into lumber or ore into bars. Pioneers of Olive Town probably would have been better off with about half as many varieties of these, because it gets kind of ridiculous. Machine-ridden industrial districts aside, it's truly fun to explore all the huge new farm areas you unlock, as each new section includes new forageable items, new materials for building, and new buildings to remodel. Plus, each season brings new adorable roaming animals that you can eventually tame and add to your barn and coop. It's a good thing the days in Pioneers of Olive Town are long, because tending to your farm is only half the job. Yeah. Olive Town itself is sizable, and will grow with new shops and activities as you complete quests for the town's mayor. For example, you'll unlock a salon with a wide array of customization options that will grow even more over time and are available to every character, regardless of gender selection. Olive Town's residents may not seem like much when you initially speak to them, most of them will make similar comments about whatever event is next on the calendar. But while everyday dialogue is a bit bland, the numerous cutscenes let characters really shine. There's clearly been a lot of love put into these scenes. Many are heartfelt, and several are enjoyably goofy. The solid writing extends to the cast of five bachelors and five bachelorettes, all of whom have numerous charming interactions with you as you increase their affection with gifts and conversation. And you can date them all, men or women, regardless of which gender you're playing as. Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town recognizes it does not need to reinvent the plow to present a full, relaxing, pleasant farming game. Aside from its sprawling size, there is not much novel about the routine of collecting materials, upgrading tools, clearing land, 
raising animals and crops, and befriending the townspeople. And there doesn't need to be. It is enough to simply have a wealth of interesting things to do, colored by cute animals and interesting characters, and fleshed out with piles of new things to unlock over 30 hours and beyond. While the struggling frame rate and tedious machine crafting can be annoying, these are small blips in a pleasantly packed day-to-day -day cycle of tending to your farm, exploring interesting new areas, and flirting with Bridget, or Reyna, or Blair. For more, check out our reviews of Harvest Moon One World and Valheim. There's farming in that. And for everything else, stick with IGN. Thank <laughs> you.